Okay, folks, I'm going to be showing you some video footage of a close encounter with a buck. I mean, close. Uh, probably within three yards. Not sure what he was yet. I've not looked at the footage. Looked like maybe a six point. But anyway, I got up here about seven o'clock this morning and uh, could tell it's going to be a good morning. It's real good and cold, about 30 degrees. And I could hear a lot of movement behind me, uh, you know, other than a, sounded like a squirrel. I mean, it was just a constant walk, walk. It walked forever. But eventually it got to me and he come up from behind me. I just knew that he was gonna blow out of there any time, but he didn't. And he just kept coming, kept coming and looking and looking and kept coming. I've got the GoPro on the scope of my rifle, my muzzle loader. So I was unable to turn the camera the way I wanted to turn it get it level. He was so close I just couldn't hardly move. So finally he come on in and just walked right up within three yards of me and still he knew something was wasn't right but he never did pick me up and I made a little movement uh, to move the camera on him and then he bolted about 30 yards, maybe 35 yards, and stopped, turned and looked back. I told my wife that I was going to take a, if I took a buck, it was going to be a good one. So, we didn't get him this morning. Maybe we'll get him next year and he gets a little bit bigger. But I've got two more tags, two more buck tags. I haven't killed a buck this year. So hopefully we still got plenty of season left there's still three or four days of muzzleloader left and then the whole rifle season so we're going to get out of here and uh, try it again another day hopefully uh, we can get that big buck we've been looking at looking for and searching for